Hello again. So we're not going to we're now going to start to look at uh, trigonometric ratios, so sine, cos, and tan, not just as kind of useful tools to solve specific types of problems, but actually as uh, relationships, as functions. And we're going to see that the more we get into them, the more there are many many applications that we enjoy, particularly things to do with waves, sound waves, light waves. Uh, anything that requires waves, these trigonometric functions, as we might call them, are going to be very useful and are used every day for this thing. So we need to know, to start examining it, a couple of things. There are acute angles, which are between 0 to 90 degrees. And then you have obtuse angles, which are 90 degrees to 180 degrees. And we're going to examine both of those for the moment. Now, below here, I've just pulled out one of the questions table of values. Let's see if we can find something. So I've filled in a few values. Zero, if I put sine of zero, y equals sine theta, so sine zero is zero. Sine of 10 degrees is 0 0.17. Sine of 30 degrees is 0 0.5. Sine of 60 degrees is 0 0.866. I'll give you another one. Sine of 90 is going to be 1. Now, if I fill in the next thing and type it into the calculators, I'll let you do a few of them. But a couple of interesting things happen. For example, I can tell you that sine of 150 is 0 0.5 and sine of 180 is 0. So we've got these things happening. And we sort of think, okay, well, that's interesting. So what? But let's have a look. So I'm going to go into Desmos and just sort of have a look at how we might plot these points. I'll just plot these few points and then we'll see something else. So if I go into Desmos, okay, here we are. I get rid of these old points here. So I'm going to plot up a few points. I'm going to plot 0, 0. Yeah, there it is. I'm going to plot uh, one of them was 30. Oh, put some brackets. So we've got 30 and we had 0 0.5. So we'll plot that. Now, it may be an interesting thing to get rid of this. I'm going to have to uh, fiddle around with the... Uh, scale a bit so that's kind of able to do that and we'll maybe draw out the scale a little bit more that way so we might get a better idea of how it looks so we can all see that that's 30. Uh, we had now let me just jump back we had uh, sine 60 is 0 0.866 so I'll put that in so we'll put that point in 60 0 0.866 all right that's good and so that's that and then 90 and 1 so we had that and sign 90 and 1 so we've got that point there now I'm going to put in one last one and then you can do it it was 150 and 0 0.5 and we have a look at those. I'll get rid of this. Sort of bring that in a bit closer even. All right, so here we have it. We've got it there. Now, interesting thing about this, you need to kind of complete this and see if you can examine what kind of curve it is. And for those who might want to go further, you could start to put in values larger than 180 as well. And we kind of see whether there's a rule that we can find that relates acute angles and obtuse angles. And if I have a look here, sine theta is equal to sine of 180 minus something is what they're saying. Now, if I look on my the two values I've chosen... Well, 0 0.5 is equal to 150. So the conclusion is, is this always the case? And by filling in the values, you might be able to see whether that's always the case. And so we've got to think about what's in there. And it might be fairly obvious to some, might not be. 
So I'll give you one example. Sine, oops, sine of 30 is equal to sine of 150, right? According to that, according to what I've written there. So what's another way that I could write 150? That's equal to sine of 180 minus what? So once you've had a think about this, then we're going to go ahead and have a go at this exercise, which is, we've got over here, uh, exercise 11C, and we have a bit of a go at that, and see if we can do every second question or so. So, exercise 11C, one and four, a, C, E, etc., and two and three. Try all of it. And then, if complete, go to 11D and keep doing because it's a similar thing that we're doing, and then we'll be able to have a look at that. All right, see you later.